We lost him. We lost him. Get him covered. Girls, let's go. Pack your things, let's go, okay? We're not going with you to your house, Aunt Chioma. We are not going to my house. We are going to your house, Chima Amanda. So, quick, let's go. Alright girls, you will have to prepare your minds because henceforth things are going to change around here. As I will be staying here to take a very good care of you girls. Hmm? <laughs> oh don't cry, come on, clean your tears. Does it mean we won't see mom and dad again? 
that is what death means. Anybody that dies is gone forever. That person has gone to meet God. So mom and dad have gone to meet God in heaven. Why did you leave us here? Why did they take us with them? Chimamanda. Yes, awesome. Now who's going to take care of us? Do not worry. I'm here. Auntie Chima and Auntie Tina are here to take care of us, okay? Everything will be fine soon. My son is here. Welcome. So get him something. Yeah. Yes, ma. You like the place. <laughs> I told you you're going to like it. <sighs> And what is this? Water. I am not blind. Get me orange juice and snacks, Joe. Chine, my son, the prince, is here. Always treat him like one. Hmm? And secondly, move Chimamanda Anusinachi out of that room. My son will be staying there. Uh, but Ma, that room has been Chimamanda no Sinachi since they were little. So, how grown are they now? Please remind me. Hmm? Will you go and do what I asked you to do, my friend? But, but Ma... Are you deaf? I said move their things out of that room, my son will be using that room. Period. Mom, I hope this in that room is working. You know how it is. Though. Of course, it's working perfectly. You will like it. <laughs> my friend, go and do what I asked you to do. Go, 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 go and do what I asked you to do, my friend. Go. Go! Hi, girls. Hi, Auntie Chile. I can see you're arranging your room. Yes. That's good. I don't know how to say this. What is it, Auntie Chile? Come and sit down. Your auntie Chioma and her son are here. You did get it today. Let me go and see him. Wait, Osinachi. Your auntie wants you to move to the other room and leave this room for Kenneth. According to her, she said uh, Kenneth likes and wants this room. What? I don't want to leave my room for anyone. I can't move to another room. No! Did she really say that? Yes, she did.
Kenneth, it's wrong to put your leg on the table with shoes on. I'll come back to you later. Auntie Chioma, Auntie Chinaya said you want us to leave our room for Kenneth. Yes, I said so. You and your sister, Osinachi, should move out of that room for my son, Kenneth. He likes it. It's not right, Auntie Chioma. We have been in that room since we were little. We're not leaving it. Besides, we are two, and he's alone. Are you trying to disrespect me? No, Auntie. Since you now know it's wrong, do not let anyone remind you next time. I ask you to. Tell the girls to move their things out of that room. But instead, you went and taught them how to talk back at me. No, Ma. Why would I do such a thing? You can ask them. I even scolded Chimaman that what she did was wrong. Now you listen to me, you cheap girl. Move their things out of that room for my son. Do I make myself clear? Else you'll be fired. Yes, you will be fired. So choose wisely to be fired or the room. Rubbish. She said if I'm not able to convince you girls to leave the room for Kenneth, I'll lose my job. And if I lose my job, I will not be able to take good care of you again or have the chance to be close to you. I don't want anything to happen to you. I don't want to be far away from you either. But I don't want to leave my room. This is not fair. Let's just obey for the sake of peace. I promise you everything will be fine with time. Besides, Auntie should not be made to pay the price for what should really concern her. Oh, Sam. Chinay, what have you in stock there? For the past three days, I've been eating granuts. And even came out here without food. What the moment? Well, food is on the fire, Jerry. I'm here because of a very important thing. <laughs> you don't come again. You won't use my brain, Abby. You don't go forget to buy something for market. Now you don't come out to send me, make I go buy it for you. See, I'm on duty. I can never leave my duty post for any reason. I believe me. It's about the kids. Uh -huh. The kids, they are fine. They are fine. Are you not fine? Odogu, uh -huh. their auntie wants them to leave their room for her son. I am very sure that very soon this woman will start treating these children badly. Hi! This one is bad news, not bad news, not bad news. 
What do we do? I don't know. And the worst is, she said, if I fail to convince them, she'll fire me. Ha! She'll fire me, she'll give you a job. Turn that fire on first! But listen, eh? Seriously, at this point in time, now this time we could stand strong for these children. Do you understand? We're not gonna lie and make anything happen to them. Ha! It's not possible. Nah, check them now. The parents have been very good to us. See me now, person could not say that I get my job, I did do. Ha! Hey! We will not allow this same woman to take their property away from them. Yes. 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 You have to stand strong. We protect them. So, what do we do? I didn't feel my brain. <laughs> you say my brain is 5G. You understand? Just if you never discover me, even yourself, you never discover me. Just I know to go to school. You understand? But don't worry. Come and tap into my wisdom. Uh, what you go do be say? Uh, See, see behave yourself now. Uh -uh. Okay. Uh, we are going to air. Uh, first of mm. all. Mm. It's okay, Usinachi. We will go back to our room. I promise you, we will go back. It's okay, my girls. We'll work out a plan that will take you girls back to your room, okay? Just trust me. We'll plan something. You see, I told you we'll go back to our room soon. Well, well, well. As you can see, I have taken over your Beautiful room. I've always loved this room and now I have it all to myself. And do you know why? That's because I am the man of the house. And you both will do as I say. And if you refuse, I'll report you to my mom. Wait, wait. Easy, son. <laughs> Thank you. 
Are you enjoying yourself? Mm. <laughs> so, um, Chimamanda. Yes, Auntie. When I call you, don't answer me, yes, Auntie. Answer me, yes, ma. I am old enough to be your mother or even your grandmother. Yes, Auntie. What did you just... Sorry, ma. Pet. Hmm. Hmm. Now you girls should listen and listen carefully. Soon my daughters will be coming back from the boarding school. Yeah? So, um, they will not want their room to be far away from my room or their brother's room. So, you guys will decide to stay in Chioma's room or to stay at the boys' quarters. So, the, the decision is yours. Hmm? Do I make myself clear? Okay. Eat, eat your food. Come on, eat. She waiting with this one now. This is only me invite come. What are they doing here now? Hi. But that poor just some evil thoughts. Why come call me? I called you here because contrary to the plan we had earlier, Chimamanda has a better one. Okay. Chimamanda has a better plan. Okay, what do you want me to do? What's the plan? I am now in charge and I'll give each of you a task. And you must obey my instructions. If not, this high-risk mission will fail. Imagining things. Uh, no. oh, wait, are you sick? Mama, I'm sure of what I saw. There was blood here. I do not want to stay in this room anymore. They should return to their room. What? I said I don't want to stay again.
my room, I want to sleep. Meaning? I do not want your room anymore. I want my room, so move out, now! Hello, little man. This is our room now. You said you wanted ours, so stay there. Well, I changed my mind. I want my room, so move out. Well, we will live on one condition. Which is? <clears throat> You move our things to our room yourself. You made us go through that stress. We will not go through it again. Is that all? Where are your things? For the purpose of protecting ourselves, you will need to sign this paper. What paper? <clears throat> it's a document that states you will never ask us to leave this room in future and you will stay away from this room while you are here. That's not a problem at all. I do not wish to stay in a haunted room after all. <sighs> is right and that room is haunted. What if my sister and her children are the reason for this? Could she be haunting us? No. I am sure he was just imagining things. No. I should not take chances. I will sleep with the lights on before someone comes and turns me into a bird. Before dawn, I will sleep with light on. Yes. Why are you stopping our celebration now? Are you not tired? <sighs> ah, calm down. Hmm. Me, I am happy that our little plan worked. Hey! Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It worked. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Hi. We need to stop playing now. Before Auntie Choma returns and realizes that we pulled that stunt with Kenneth. Okay? Yeah. All right. But Auntie Chi, we're having fun. Auntie Chi is right. We need to stop now. They'll be back anytime. Let's clean up. <laughs> this book <forgets> says, <laughs> let's clean up. Let me pack my cap. <laughs> I'm going, you know. <laughs> what now? <laughs> hey. She forgets that we celebrate the other day. Forgets that we celebrate. I don't understand why this woman they treat these children like second class citizens for their own house. Oh. Eh? For their own house. My wow. dear. My dear. I wonder, considering that their parents have not yet been buried, Hi. she's already treating them badly, trying to get rid of them. You know, say, you know, say, 
Before they say devil is invisible, devil is invisible. Now I know say devil is visible. That woman is a visible devil. She's evil. She's even worse than the devil. See, these children have done her no wrong. So why is she doing this? Ah. <laughs> Don't worry. You see, this is my 5G head. <laughs> I will decode why she is maltreating them. No, let me tell you now. Or else more. <laughs> I will find out why. But meanwhile, as they try to find out why and they complain, we will make sure she will protect these children. No. Before they go die for her eye. Then want to you. God forbid. Uh -huh. And I. <laughs> I. Yeah, you didn't tie your waist away. Well. Let me see if I. I. Yeah. <laughs> Eh? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Arrangements are being made to bury your parents. But I don't have money. So I will have to go to your father's company to see the manager. Can we come with you? As what now? It's our father's company. I would love to see Mr. Davis. Ma, I don't think there's anything wrong if they go there. They need to get out of the house to receive some fresh air. And they've been indoors since their parents died. It's not good for them. In what capacity are you saying that? Have you forgotten your position in this house? Huh? How dare you meddle? It's a family affair, Chinenye. But I... Shut up! Will you shut your mouth? You girls are the reason. She, she feels she, she's a member of this family when she's not. Look. Let this be the last time you interfere. Do I make myself clear? Nonsense. But Atichinaya has been part of this family before we were born. So why can't she? I do not see anything wrong in what she did. Ma. Clap for yourself. So now, Chima Amanda, you now challenge me. Hmm? You now challenge me. It appears that your parents did not train you people very well. It's even a good thing that they are gone. So, I will give you and your sister the training that you ought to have received. So you're happy my parents are gone? Is that the only thing you heard? about this and you promised not to cry again. You said you are going to be strong, didn't you, Osin? But this is not fair. Auntie Chema is actually happy that mom and dad are dead. Can you imagine that? We cannot control people's thoughts or opinions. We should appreciate the fact that she's showing us her true color. She's mean! If mom and dad were here, they would not be happy seeing us like this. Let's be strong for them. I know what you're going through. But we cannot question God. Mm. 
You have to be strong now for yourself and for your sister. I'm sorry you'll be forced to grow up like this. What are you saying, Mom? You're not going anywhere, are you? Be strong, Chimamanda. Be strong so that you can take care of your sister, Osinachi. Please. <laughs> Mom! Mom! Doctor! Nurse! Somebody should come and help me! Mom! Mom! Just hold on. No. Time of death, 3,500 hours. What do you mean by time of death? She's my mom, she cannot die. I'm so sorry. Mommy, I'm sorry. wake up. Mommy, wake up. Mommy. Mommy! Mommy! We shall allow them rest in peace. Okay? Come. Sorry, was just sending a mail. So what did you say the problem is? Um the burial. We're planning towards it. Oh, we don't have money to make it happen. Oh, I see. Yeah. How are the kids? They are fine, but it's just hunger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give you some money before you leave. Okay. And I'll make some money available for the burial after discussing with the board members. Hmm. Okay? That's nice. <laughs> I know I can always count oh, on you. Oh, you're welcome. And once again, accept my condolences. Okay. It's okay. All right. So, this is the place. <laughs> you like it? So, Mom. This is going to be our new home. Yes, darling. And you have right over everything here. Wow. This is nice. I am happy, Mom. Now we we'll have a room to ourselves. <laughs> Chinanya! Chinanya! Ma! My daughters are here. So, go tell um, Osinachi and um, Chimamanda to vacate the room. Uh, Ma, why? Where will they stay? Does it look like I care? Do I care? Eh? If they like, they can share your room. But my daughters deserve a room to themselves. So, go, go, go! Go and prepare. Do you want me to lose my temper? Children, sit down now. So this house is final, yeah? Yes. Eh? I'm so excited about it. Me too. <laughs> so you mean you want to stay in that room? Mm-hmm. Hey! Didn't mom tell you guys? Tell us what? See, that room is haunted. There is an evil spirit in that room. The first night I tried to sleep there, I was attacked. 
There was blood everywhere in the room, on the wall, on the bed, on the floor, in the bedroom, everywhere, name it. Are you serious? I had to run for my life. That's why I relocated to this room. Besides, the rooms are all the same. I just wanted to teach those girls a lesson, but the evil parents taught me a lesson instead. <laughs> if that really happened, then I do not wish to stay in that room. Never. Yes. We stay in this room with you. It's big enough for all of us. No, why will I share my room with you? You do not have a choice. We used to share a room with mommy, but now it's just three of us on this big bed. You should not complain, Kenneth. Adel. <laughs> Hope you like your new room. Yes, mom. <laughs> you should. Yeah, come. How come those girls did not pick a fuss about it? That's because we did not go to their room. Ah, how do you mean? Kenneth told us about the room and how haunted it is. So, we decided it's better to stay in Kenneth's room than get killed in a haunted room. You of all people, and you believed him. <laughs> you should know that your brother gets easily scared. Really? Yes, he's imagining things. He is. Fine. I'm moving there, but under one condition. Which is? You spend the first night with us. Hey. Bam, 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 bam. Ghosts. It goes to. Because they might just come and catch all of us. I'm scared of ghosts too. Ha. But you said he was imagining things. Look, Adesi, I have I've told you. If you don't want that room, then leave it. And stop making excuses. I'm tired of your excuses, Joe. We already have a room. We are fine there. Ghost. What is it? What is it now? Is there any problem? I want to sit where Osina and Chimamanda are sitting. They will have to get up. Why? This is our house. And this is where we used to sit with our parents to eat. Did you see your parents at this dining table? I ask. Hmm? going anywhere. There are other seats. They should use it. Now you are pushing me. You are pushing me. What's in that chair? No, Chimamanda. We will sit here. Enough is enough. This is just a dining table. No one sits here forever. Let us eat and leave. They can carry the chairs to their room if they like. Okay? We'll see.
Oh, guys, this is an awkward meeting. But I guess I do not have a choice. The barrier is over. And according to the barrister, Barrister Bayo, your father's lawyer, demands that everyone here should be present tomorrow. He will be reading the will and the testament. So, but the problem I have is that I do not know why Odogu and Chineye will be present at that meeting. But instruction is instruction. They have to be present too. Something tells me it's because of the sack letter. Sir, so, Sawatin, so we are in charge now and should employ those we want. Do not be faster than your shadow. Tomorrow is always pregnant. I'm sure my parents were more sensible and smarter than you think. Hopefully, you'll be the one asked to leave. It will not happen. It will not happen. Ochako Maka. Let's stop speculating. Tomorrow will come soon. We will find out. Hmm. Gentlemen, ladies, without further delays, we would like to go straight to the purpose of this assemblage, which of course is to peruse the wheel and testament of the disease, late engineer Daniel Onwura. Once again, accept my deep condolences. This is a will and testament. Please pick a copy. Okay, let it go around, please. Okay. The last will and testament of engineer Daniel Omura. Reading this will, we show that it has been a month since I, engineer Daniel Omura, died. That, of course, is an inevitable end of man. And I hope that my girls are keeping strong. I, engineer Daniel Omura, have divided my assets into 10 major parts. Two parts, on the one hand, goes to my beloved wife, Mrs. Daniel Omura. Four parts, on the second hand, goes to my darling daughters, which includes the company and our house. One plot of land goes to my friend, Davis Edmund, who will be handling the company until my daughters grow up to take over from him. The second plot of land goes to Barista Bayo Ogundele. Thank you. The third plot of land goes to Chioma Dike, my sister-in-law, and her children will henceforth be given scholarship to study in any university in Nigeria. As for Odogu and Chinenye, they are now family and never will be sacked except they decide to leave on their own accord and their salaries will henceforth be tripled. This is the will and testament of engineer Daniel Onwura. Any issues in dispute, you refer to Barrister Bayo Ogundele or take to the court for proper settlement. Because at this point, you're not supposed to be hearing my voice. Nonsense! What, what, what kind of nonsense? What kind of 
rubbish! You mean my, my children are going to study in this in this country? Security. <laughs> I'm now a bona fide member of this house. Hey! Hmm? Supo! Yes, now. Bona fide! Uh, hey! Okay, no problem. I'm not a bona fide. Or bona fide. Oh. I'm telling you, I'm not a bona fide. <laughs> hey! See! Even for grave, Augustine, they bless us. Oh. Mm. Even for grave, Augustine, they bless us. Oh, God bless you. I was scared of fighting for the girls. But now, Odogu, mm -hmm. now that I know that I'm immune to that, mm -hmm. I will make sure that the girls are treated well henceforth. <laughs> henceforth. I'll be treating them well, better than you will treat them henceforth. And let me tell you what will happen henceforth. Headphones, me and you, me and you, headphones, headphones, me and you now. Headphones, let's celebrate headphones. Hey, headphones. You and Kaka. Cheers. Hey, hey. Mm -hmm. Gee, hey. Mm -hmm. Barrister Bayo, I would like to contest the will. <laughs> I am sure what I got was wrong. I mean, I'm the one taking care of the kids. Yet they got more than me. Why? Huh? Even their dead mother got more than me. We all know that they died the same day. Or is she planning to spend the money in the afterlife? Huh? Are you done? Yes. Now listen. In your life, don't you ever barge on me or anyone else without observing your basic morals of greeting. Okay? Now, if you want to contend the will, you can do that. I don't give a hoot. Hmm? Secondly, that is his will, and it must be respected. Even though he didn't know that his wife was going to be dying with him in the accident. Do not think of yourself more highly placed than you ought to. You are but a sister-in-law who was remembered in his will. Not just only you, your children were also remembered as well. You should be grateful. There is always a limit to greed. Don't push your luck, else I'll be forced to legally rip you off what you already have. Okay? 
We know that you are all the children have right now. Don't abuse that privilege. You have to behave yourself. If not, hmm, Barista Bayo will deploy all his legal prowess and ensure that you are off that house for good. Do you understand? Now, get off this premises. You are trespassing. I said, leave this premises right away. Nonsensical. That is the way, that is the way, this way, this way. Watch this too. Why? Are you asking us? My friend, take a put and wash. Your hands are not fractured, so wash the plate yourself. of that evil thought. If you ever try that with my sister, whether I'm around or not, just know you have dug your grave because I'm not going to spare a strand of your sparsely populated hair. What will you do? I will not tell you. I will show you. Just try it again and I will make sure not even your mother can protect you from me. <laughs> You're just a chubby girl. I will puncture you first. They break you. <laughs> when it comes to someone I can't beat, I will not beg the Almighty to come and save me. I will beg the Almighty to help that person. Be warned. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell out and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell out and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. No more. To the man. How dare you talk to her Daisy like that? Have you lost your mind? She's the one who has lost her mind to think she could maltreat my own sister in our own house and go free. She's glad I did not do anything to her. But I promise you, if it happens again, I will beat her blue black and wait for the consequences. Are you talking to me like that? Huh? You're my auntie and I will respect you. But if your children do not maintain their lane and allow my elastic limit to reach its breaking point, then no one should hold me responsible for any damages. Osinachi is my only family. I promised my mother to take care of her and protect her. That is all I'm doing. Ma. You have cheated me, Daniel. You have cheated me. Is this all I've been working hard for? I tampered with the brake of your car, thinking that you would wheel this entire company to me. But instead, you left it for your daughters. How mean could you be? How mean? But not to worry. By the time I'm done with your girls, they will not have the time to grow old enough to take anything from me. This is my promise.
How is she feeling? She's burning up. We need to take her to the hospital. Worse, ma. We need to take her to the hospital. With which money? My dear, you are now a heavy earner. <laughs> I know you can handle this. Hmm? Besides, me as their guardian, I did not get much. So you can handle it. You're capable. Ma. This is a matter of life and death. And you're talking about what you got? She's your niece. Of course I know she's my niece. Is that enough for me to go and steal? Do you want me to go and steal? It's your kanje's worry. I do not have money. Period. Are you okay? Hey, how's she feeling? It's getting worse. Can you drive? Yes, now nah, I'm a driveist. I've been driving since now, nah, Odogu. Eh? We we'll have to rush her to the hospital. Odo, my aunt do not want us to take the car. But you will have to help. Please. No, Al, I'm standing by. Odogu is standing by. We'll take her to the hospital. I'm here. What are you doing in my room? What are you hiding? I... I need to take my sister to the hospital. Not with my car. It's my father's car. You have no right to wire it.
You are playing with fire. My sister's life is enough for me to do so. Oh. Hello? Is this Barista Bayo? Sir, it's Chimamanda. Sir, please, we need your help. And we're in the hospital. My sister is sick. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Good day, Miss Chomadike. Barista Bayo, you're here. Obviously, I am here. Because I had to. It has become too necessary that I come. Miss Chomadike, these children have brought to my notice that you have been maltreating them. You have been treating them badly. Treating them badly? How? Why? Hold your questions. I'm not here for a question and answer jam session. Neither am I here for a cross-examination of their allegation or assertion. But let this be crystal clear to you. That the next time it comes to my knowledge that you are treating these children badly or maltreating them perhaps in your mind. I, Barista Bayo, will not hesitate to get you arrested and make sure that your monthly allowances are discontinued. And I may push further to the revocation of the scholarship scheme. Bequeath your children for the obtained time. Miss hmm. Joma, do not push me. Do not push Barista Bayo. Else, I will confiscate your existence into the abyss. know why you invited me to your office. I heard the stunt you pulled, so I called you here to ask you a few questions. How do you mean? Why do you hate the kids so much? I saw your facial expression the day the will was read. I thought I was mistaken until Barista Bayo called me on the phone to say you refused treating Osinachi. What do you have against those innocent children? Do you want to know? Yes. Do you really want to know? <laughs> Their father <laughs> saw me first. <laughs> Instead, he chose my sister and got married to her. Tell me, who does that? Who in the world does that? <laughs> Is it, do, 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 do I look ugly? I mean, take a look at me. 
Do I look ugly? Is it because I had a child? Why? <laughs> I am supposed to be living the life my late sister lived. But they denied me. They denied me that life. <laughs> <laughs> These children are not supposed to be happy. I will make their lives miserable. I will make them miserable. Calm down. <laughs> Listen, you're not in this alone. If you want to go fast, you can go alone. But if you want to go far, you go with someone. I am with you on this one. I know you don't like them. I don't like them either. We can work together as a team, but there's a rule. Do not do anything without informing me first. Okay. Okay. I'll come up with a plan. standing what is it now why are you standing as if you are police that want to arrest someone is there any problem ma we came to tell you that our lesson teacher said that she's not going to come again also to ask if it's true that you have not paid her and asked her not to come again yes i told her not to come I mean, what, what, what are we wasting money for? Eh? We have better things to do with money now. Come, don't you girls go to school? Eh? All this wasting money that your parents have been wasting here and there, pay money day, pay money day, has to stop. It has to stop. We have better things to do with money. But, ma. But, again, eh? Do you want to argue with me or talk or maka? Please, you girls should get out from my room, Joe. I see room for. Get out of my room. Nonsense. I want to be taught. Rubbish. You see, idiots. They want to be taught. <laughs> Let them come and be taught. Nonsense. I miss mommy and daddy. I know if they were here, Auntie Chioma would treat us like this. I miss you, mommy. Please come back. It's okay, it's not it. Everything will be fine. I'm here, okay? Is everything all right? I need something from you, Auntie Chineye. Okay. What do you want? I need Mr. Davis' number. That's my daddy's friend. Oh, I'm sorry, my love. I don't have it. 
But I know where his office is. Really? Mm -hmm. Can you give me the address? Why not? Of what use will I be to you if I can't help you? I'll take you there. Mr. Davis, if this is the only thing you're going to do to help your late friend's children, I'm sure you will appreciate it, and God in heaven will reward you. I heard you girls, okay? But do not let whatever your auntie is doing trouble you. Did you hear what I said? I'll be taking care of your fees henceforth. Yes, and your lesson teacher will resume tomorrow. Thank you, Uncle Davis. May God bless you. Amen. I'm sure my late father will be proud of you. Mm. All right, um, I have something for you. Okay, um, take this. Thank you again, Uncle Davis. God bless you. You're welcome. Chimamanda. Take very good care of your sister. I'll be coming from time to time to check on you girls, okay? All right. Thank you, Mr. Davis, and have a lovely day. You too. You're very stupid for treating the case the way you're doing. Look, Mr. David, I will take any other thing from you, but insult, I do not like insult. Don't try it again. What nonsense. That is it. You think you know it all. Your type are the ones that spoil things for others because of the mistakes you're prone to make. Don't you think treating the kids the way you're doing will attract attention to yourself? Eh, you should tell me that now. You should tell me in a very polite way, not insult. Eh? I do not like insults. I don't like it. Don't act on your own again. I told you this from the beginning. Allow me to handle things smartly. Okay, if that is what you want to do, and you know you will produce a good result, fine, I'll give you a chance to do what you want to do. Please don't mess up things for us, I beg you. It's okay. Can I go now? Yes, you can go, as long as you can use less of your sense and not cause more problem for us. We'll carry out your plan tomorrow, and I will inform the boys as well tomorrow, so I'll keep you informed of any development. You may go. regard for people. Didn't you see we were watching something important? Why would you come and change the channel like that? Even if you wanted to change the channel, at least a common excuse me would have made you look like a wise and smart boy. Mwa. Well, I am the man of the house. So who am I supposed to take excuse from? Besides, I'm not a child like you two. I don't watch cartoons. Hi, sweethearts. How are my girls doing? We are fine. How is work? Work is fine. I got this for you. Yay, me! Ice cream! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. David. You're welcome. Take it easy. Thank God, at last. Do you know it has been long I had ice cream? Really? 
one can even forget how ice cream tastes at this rate. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Davis. Thank you, Uncle Davis. Yes, you're welcome. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Come tonight. Come with your men. Okay? Don't mess things up for me. They told me you are good at kidnapping. The girls will be alone tonight because I'm, I'm taking my children out. So, please, do not let anybody see you. I don't want you to mess things up for me. Eh? Okay, okay. I will add something to you. If you pull this one very well, that's good. That's good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hmm. My nieces, they will not know what hit them this time around. I will make something out of them. After all, their, their parents did not left me with almost nothing. Hmm? Rubbish. Settled into her new home and was very happy because the dwarves were much kinder to her than her step mother had been. Girls, we need to talk. Things are getting out of hand. Auntie Chi, what's wrong? Hmm. Chi overheard uh, your auntie discussing with some people. They are planning to kidnap people tonight. What? Why would she want to do such a thing? I don't know. And there is no time to find out. You girls need to leave this house before dusk. You need to go somewhere safe. But why? This is our house. If I'm not safe here. Where then would we be safe? I agree with you, Sinachi. We're not going anywhere. This is our house, and we'll protect ourselves well in this house. You are not even hearing what we are saying. This is a kidnap case. This is not a, a this thing. We need to take you to somewhere safe. Eh? Piko no no. Where is your bag? Let's yeah. I understand. But we're not going anywhere. Why are you this stubborn? If anything happens to you girls, I will not forgive myself. She's even talking not forgiving herself. Me, myself, I will die. People shall allow me to enjoy my benefit in this house. Then help us stay safe. How? Help us fight them. I'm sure we can succeed. They are talking of helping you fight them, you think you can succeed. Are you succeeding and fighting people you know or you're fighting people you don't know? We don't know the people that are coming to kidnap you. One, two. What if they come here with gun? I don't have anything, only my cap. How can I fight people with gun with my cap? Please, you push should help us. Let's go. Which is why we have to plan properly. We are wise and there's nothing wisdom cannot achieve.
we are going to the vigil. So take care of the house and make sure you lock everywhere. Hmm? I don't want to hear stories when I come back home. Yes, ma. Okay. And make sure you make us fresh juice in the morning. I'm sure we'll be needing it. No problem. Yes, ma. Good night. Good night. <clears throat> They are gone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's get to work quickly. Let the fun begin.
You were here. Hmm? You were here, sleeping like a log of wood. <laughs> Snoring like a fool. Hey, hey, no verse. Eh? No verse. Most start with greeting. Good morning, ma. I thought I'd shut up your mouth. Yeah. Oh. So, the children that they left under your care, mm -hmm. you could not take care of them. Yeah. Hmm? You could not take care of them. <laughs> you are in trouble. You are in big trouble. Chinanya! Hey, Mr. David, you're here. You're here, Mr. David. This man could not take care of the children that was kept on under his care. Kidnappers came and took them away. But don't what is happening. Hey, it's your animal. Animal. Come walk it. Walk, 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 walk it. I'm a chianoge. So you were here, sleeping like a queen of England. You are so incompetent. So incompetent. Anuman. Idiot. But what is happening? Oh, oh, what a bonus. Your kidnappers are clueless. Next time, get smarter men. Hey. But I, I thought you them know hey. this. She knows. <laughs> In Brooklyn. Hey. What a coniferous assemblage of disgruntled partnerships. Wow. Look at you, a supposed gentleman. Oh, what a pitiable, abysmal dismal. <laughs> you, who are supposed to play a fatherly and angelic figure. Is this how you wish to repay Engineer Daniels for all the good things he did for you? Hmm, it's a pity. Is this how you wish to treat the family he left behind? Barista Bayo. You cannot accuse me for something I did not do. You have nothing to prove. Really? It's absolutely nothing. Really? I can see that you are a clueless boogaboo. There must not only be boo-booed out of existence. Hold on. Officers! Come out. Hey! Atom! Hey! Do you need Atom. more proofs? I'm finished. Do you, what more proofs do you I'm need? I'm finished. Hey! I am finished though. Hey, Chinaki. Chaba. I'm finished. I'm doing a business with you is the great is the worst mistake of my life. You're more useless than yesterday's newspaper. You two! You two! I'm, I, I regret ever having anything to do with you! Hold it! Save uh, your so. conversation for your I new them. accommodation. Take them away! Uh, this is my house. Hold on! Remember I told you that there's a limit to greed. And greed can lead to confiscation of existence into the abyss. Officers, Barista, take them away to their new accommodation. This is my house. This is my house. My house. My house. My house. My house. Look at that. Nonsensical. Move. Oh. Odoku, take care of this. Sure. I'm coming back. Let me move the handkerchief. Move. move. <laughs> Finally, she dropped the tickets. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah! Wow, wow. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. 